All right. Um, <laughs> let's move on. <laughs> uh, let's go with David in Arkansas. David, you're live with Eric and V. How are you doing? Hi, doing well. How about you? Doing good. all right, man. We've we've been patting ourselves yeah, on the back a good bit. I apologize. That's all um, good. What did you want to talk about? I I called a couple weeks ago, maybe last week, about transitioning, and talked to you uh, both of y'all. I was wondering how you know when you've fully transitioned. Transitioned oh, from in which theism into atheism okay. from. Yeah, exactly. Got it. Um, David? Yep. It sounds like you know. I mean, well, my problem is I still, and it's going to sound, uh, uh, I, I don't want to use the word stupid, but I've experienced things that I still kind of, I'm like, I can't think of another answer. I know that's the several, the several fallacies fit that, but. I still know what I saw and know what I've experienced. Mm -hmm. And it's like, I know there's another answer. Um, but, and I know that it, it, in, in my mind, it's not necessarily a natural answer, at least for what we know now. Now, certainly when we find the science, there will be an answer and all that. But until then, how do I kind of just brush off what I've experienced. Well, you don't have to. Yeah. Just it, it, the, the, if you don't know what it is and the honest answer is I don't know, then you're sitting pretty. The fact is there are tons of atheists who are not skeptics who still hold that there's some kind of power in the universe and still hold that there's some kind of, you know, woo type of spirituality or that they can contact spirits on the other side, that they could believe in crystal chakras, crystals, chakras, and be, you know, that there's, there's an entire group and, and those people also consider themselves to be atheists. Um, the, the interesting thing is you don't have to be exactly where we're at to have the answer to a single question. And honestly, I think that hitting the answer to that question is not as important as brushing up on your epistemology mm -hmm. and making sure that you are using the best tools available to understand the world around you. Because I think that you doing that probably will get you to atheism. But if not, call in and yeah. let us know. But it'll help you in other parts of your life too. Um, you can hold on to a whole lot of that stuff and have run right through the atheist, you know, into the atheist camp. If you don't like the word, you don't have to use the word. But um, Right. One thing I will say, I'm um, very quickly getting rid of quote-unquote faith, mm -hmm. uh, and I wanted to recommend on CNN uh, and probably other networks, uh, they ran an article last week on the, on the 20th this woman drove her car in oncoming traffic uh, because she thought God was testing her face. And I just, I was mortified. Yeah. Fuck. That's brutal, man. Yeah. Yeah, I emailed the atheist community and, and shared that with y'all. I don't know if anybody read it or not, but uh, it was a, it's an interesting article on CNN. And uh, it, it, faith is just, it scares me now that I'm, gotten rid of that part because I see how uh, dangerous it is. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, it, it, it can if you value um, standing behind something even if you don't have any good reason to. Yeah, it's, it, it is incredibly insulating and it is incredibly dangerous. Yeah. Um, David, whether or not you want to call yourself an atheist, the fact is, is you getting there already makes me really damn happy that you watched the show. And um, really proud that if any, well, that's if, how I did it. You know, I've been watching y'all for a couple of years, uh, and uh, you and uh, you've been great to me and uh, very patient. I remember, uh, the very first time I called in, I actually called in angry with y'all because y'all were ripping up Bibles. <laughs> <laughs> you know, actually, what's funny is I was going through the uh, the supplies that we have for the different shows, and someone uh -huh. kept the ripped up Bible, and I just found it in the box this morning. Uh, I don't know what to do with it, but, uh, <laughs> you know, it, it's, it, it fired you up, but it got you thinking, didn't it? 
Hey, do you want to, can you send it to me? Hey. Hey. Yeah, I don't mind. Sure. I'd love to have it. Yeah, man. Um, how about I pop you back on hold uh, to talk to our call screener? Sounds great. All right, brother. Thank you for calling in. And Thank keep, you. Keep exploring. Keep thinking about it. Nobody's holding a gun to your head. Um, just do your best to understand this world the best way, you know, as, as, as clearly as you can, you know, question everything and, and try to hold, especially the things that are important to you up to a high standard because they should be, you should have high standards for those things that you accept and that you support. And that's okay. Awesome. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. I know. That it's, was that's really cool. I really would love it. If we sent him that Bible, that would be amazing. Yeah, well, I think it would be meaningful for him for yeah, sure. Yeah, I know that would be kicked him off on the yes. Definitely. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, let's do that. Also, just I think it's interesting that there's there's the idea out there that t- if you are an atheist, you can't not know things or have experiences that you can't explain or think that you may have had an experience that is you know, what other people would consider mystical or spiritual or whatever. Like these, these are things that humans experience and it's not, it's not reserved for religious people. It's not reserved for people who are faithful and uh, worship a God. These are things that we all experience. And it's just the only thing we do differently is say, I don't know what caused that (laughs) as opposed to say it was God. So you can have these experiences. You can even go search for them (laughs) if you, if you so desire but the the goal here is just to make sure that we aren't leaping to unfounded conclusions with those experiences as our only evidence. Absolutely. Yeah. I'm going to grab that book off the counter at some point during the show. That That's really neat. You know, actually, uh, uh, when I went to do my debate in Nashville, um, I got a call from the event organizer who said, um, hey, Eric, somebody sent me a video of you tearing up a Bible. Um, we, we, we really don't want to be, you know, too mean. And, and, and I thought if I'm the mean one, (laughs) um, (laughs) but Hey, you know what, if it gets people thinking that I'm pretty happy.